Alright, welcome back. That's right, another painting video. This time we got, uh, we got a pro line body. We got the Jeep with the TRX4, the long wheelbase. I always gotta check, make sure this shit's in focus for you guys. Nope. $44.99 plus tax. Since uh, eBay's decided they're, uh, well, they've been doing it for a little bit. Uh, doing their tax thing so I might as well just buy the shit at the hobby shop and give them the money than uh, the eBay people all right so there's the body you seen that I'm gonna paint it purple because I've seen purple ones PS 18 lay down the purple I'm gonna lay down silver PS 21 and after that we're gonna back it with black on the inside PS 5 I'm not gonna paint the top black I'm going to leave this the body color. I will be painting the fender flares all black. So I'll get with you when I uh, start the cutout. Alright. I took my uh, X-Acto knife with the fresh blade. Went all the way around. Bottom trim. Make sure you know where you're going. Don't cut up where you don't need to be. And let's see if we can get this to pop off right this time. Just this so you guys can see a little bit here. There we go. You will need your scissors every now and then. beat the rain here Body's cut out, got all the excess off. Ed, this is so thick I had to hit it with the scissors. But double check this, make sure these holes were in the right spot, and they were. There is markings on the body for these two holes. On the back, that's a whole nother world there. There is no markings on the back. And that's where you gotta be careful. Make sure your posts, when you drill your front ones out, put it in, lift it up so everything's even, and these lay on top. This is just laying underneath there. And then uh, check your body. Make sure uh, it's lined up left to right. Because, I mean, if you drill, if it's over here a little bit and then you drill them holes, you're screwed. You're going to have a crooked-ass body forever. You're going to have to put more holes in it. So make sure the center of this is the center of the bumper. And then uh, just take your Sharpie. Everybody's got a Sharpie by now, right? And... Uh, Mark it on the top, and then you're going to drill your holes. Or uh, ream them out is what I do. It's easier with the reamer. Don't try to drill. That, that stuff slips. It's going to go. It's going to mess up the body. So just double check it. Don't just rush it. Just check it. Check it from the side. Make sure it look good and everything. But uh, there is no markings back here. You have to put these in yourself. So all right, that's how I uh, align a body. Now, if there was no hole markings anywhere on the body like maybe this body wasn't for a TRX4 the same principle you're just gonna lay it on there get it where you want it take your sharpie mark where your posts are then drill your holes just double check it triple check it because uh you make the wrong hole you ain't gonna fix that crap if you look at one of my other videos where that dude drilled his out with a kitchen knife I don't know I don't know what he drilled it out with but that, that was the nastiest holes I ever seen in my life and I'm seeing some nasty hoes. So, all right. So, that's that step. We'll get back with the rest of it. 
All right, as you can see, we got the window masks in. Like I said, just put little marks on the outside of the frame and then put the decal in from the inside and then it lines up real easy. So I did all that. Gotta make sure they're all straight. Make sure they're all sealed around the edges before you paint. Uh, it's been washed. It's been uh, 3M padded, everything but where the windows are. Don't want to scrape up your windows because you will see that crap. And the blue paint is everywhere where it's going to be sprayed black on the inside and then it's going to be sprayed black on the outside. So you don't have to get real crazy with it, but stay a little bit away from where you're going to be cutting because you don't want that shiny black to sh shine through in your paint job. So just keep it away a little bit. All right. And uh, definitely make sure you don't have no lint or hairs or whatever. You don't want your stuff to look like a tube of Jaclyn Hill lipstick, man. If you don't know who that is, type that crap in on uh, YouTube. <laughs> I don't know what she making. Fuzzy lipstick? Whatever. The, the shit pops up on my phone, so I on my YouTube channel, so I like look at them every now and then if they're interesting. All right, so uh, we're going to lay down. PS18 metallic purple once again I did not do the top normally I do black out the top but I think this purple's gonna look cool and the ones I did see driving up and down the road they didn't have black top on them the whole thing was purple so that's what we're gonna go with so remember just put on dust dust coats your best bet is to get the areas where it's is these areas around the windows first and then worry about painting everything else because those are the areas where it'll be light and then when you spread silver on the, the back this it's going to show through on your ass you don't want that alright so we're going to lay down some dust coat and see how this comes out remember give the first spray to the wind alright that stuff stinks Try to get this in one can. Eh, it might be a little harder than anticipated. We'll see. All right, purple's done. I did get it all with one can. I'm pretty sure I did. Double check. Look for where you can see through it. If you can't see through it, then the other colors won't show through because you got to back it with some silver. Uh, it's looking all right to me. Now we're just gonna spray some silver, some PS12. And uh, you don't need a lot. After the silver, you're gonna back it with black. All right, purple's done, silver's done. I have removed the inner maskings off the fender flares and the uh, front grill. Now we're going to hit it with some black. Same thing. Keep, uh, keep your uh, can back and give it a chance to dry. A dust coat that keeps it from running on you. Because it will run if you put it on too thick. about empty so I'm gonna have to open up a new one all right purple's on silver's on black's on I took my exacto knife trimmed all the way around these areas where I want to spray it on the outside black so let's pull that crap off and see what we got going on here it's always There we go. Do that slow to make sure you didn't uh
All right. So I'm going to finish getting all this off. This side's done. I'm going to do the front. Got to do that side. And I did do around the tail lights. I'm going to paint them black. And uh, then I'm going to hit it. I'll scuff everything up with the 3M pad. Be careful. Stay away from the edge. Just scuff it real lightly. Just so paint got something to bite into. And uh, we'll get back when we get ready to spray the uh, semi-gloss black on the outside. All right. All right. Protective film been removed off the areas I want to paint black. I hit it with the 3M pad. Cleaned up all the hairs and lint and everything else. Don't forget, you don't want it to look like Jack on Hill makeup. You want your shit to look nice. Not all nasty and moldy and hairy and whatever the hell else she got problems with. Alright, so let's spray this. Don't forget, Krylon, Fusion all in one. Black label. Satin black. Keep your distance, put a dust coat on. Make sure you shake can up good. Further away you are, the better off you're gonna be. You don't want it to look all shiny, you want it to look plasticky. Put another coat on it make sure everything's covered then we're gonna put some dust coats on holding it way back so uh it has like a texture a plasticky texture like you'd see on a fender flare a plastic one anyway all right so uh we'll get back to you when that's all done and then we're gonna pull the protective film off and uh i was gonna tint the windows but i said hey this is going on ebay it's going on sale i don't i don't need it all i do is tear bodies up so i don't i don't do them for myself so uh if anybody's interested, uh, just type in "you crazy two on eBay and, and my stuff will come up. There's all everything you see in my videos is on there or has been on there for sale. So if there's anything you guys see you like, feel free to bid. If not, don't. Doesn't matter to me. And uh, I, I guess I got to go back to begging for subscribers. I got 32 of you guys. Uh, so, you know, let's see if we can hit 50. I know if I put a cat video up, I could probably get 100 subscribers. So we don't need no cat videos, do we? All right, let's see what happens. All right. All right. I got the black on. Looks pretty good. Everything's covered. Now I got to get the texture. Just a little bit of texture on there. Like I said, the way I do that, I mean, I got this can way back. I can't like a foot and a half back. Just a little quick burst. Go all the way around. Fender, that front fender, just a little short burst. Get this front end. See that? See how it looks uh, plasticky? That's what you're looking for. You don't want that glossy shit. That looks like caca. Alright, I think we are done. Right, paint's dry. I'm going to pull the protective coating off. It's dry enough. I let it sit for about 15 20 minutes. You can see right there, there might be a little thing. I don't let it dry too long because that way I can scrape off anything that got through the protective coating. But let's peel this off and see what we get moment of truth and plus if you wait too long this paint will start flaking Ooh.
Alright. See what we got. Alright, that's it. See right there? And you just take your finger. And hopefully that scrapes right off. There you go. You look kind of cool purple. Purple kind of came into people liked it for a while and nobody likes it. Then I happen to just see uh, some Jeeps driving around that were actually purple. Like, hey, looks like purple's back. So I like purple. Okay, so uh, next step is decals. Decals and remove the inner uh, mass from the windows and then it'll be done. So uh, get back with you when I put some decals on it. Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is the last of it. Uh, finishing up putting the decals on. A lot of them you'll see are already on. I'm trying to stay in focus here. Got them on the front here. That's all done. Oh, spinning around. The Rubicon, that crap. Uh, door handles, stickers are on. Oh, what's around the back? In the back, got tail lights on. I, I don't like the way they... Proline forms these rear taillight housings. They're, they're not square. They're kind of oblong and everything, but hey, do the best you can. That's all I can tell you. Uh, if you look here, you got, let me move, make sure I'm in focus. <laughs> the wife and the, my buddy ragged on me for one of my videos. Oh, that one with the, the first unboxing where I got all that crap in there, that Traxxas, that stinky, smelly one, because everything was out of the picture. <laughs> so they ragged on me. They, they, they tried to make me cry, but I was beyond that, so I didn't cry. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, there, there might be a video already out there on this, but hey, for my 37 followers, we're going to do it anyway. All right. What you're going to need is uh, pinstriping, automotive pinstriping. It goes on a car, sits outside, so it's got to be good, huh? All right. There's a few different kinds. This one's got two different lengths on it. You see that? One's this wide and one's really thin. You can pull these apart. They just got a little clear film over them. And if you take that clear film off, you can pull off either one you want as much as you want. Or you can just buy it a single roll already at that size, which is this size right here. And that's what I'm using now. You can see I already did one here. What you're going to need is you're going to need a sharp, brand new blade. You're going to need some kind of scissors. Something good that cuts it nice and clean. And you're either going to need a blow dryer or a heat gun. I use a heat gun. you got to be careful if you use a heat gun. You can melt your stuff with this heat gun. It will curl up your stickers and everything else. But I'd use it on all of them. And that way they can form. The prime example is... Uh, this gas cap. I don't know if you can see that. But it, it just it melts it right in there. You just gotta be careful. If it's burning your hand, I, I usually hit my hand with it and see how close and then oh yeah okay that's hot and then a little bit there and then I rub it down. And that makes them stick better and it just it conforms them. If you leave it on there too long it will melt them so you gotta be careful. But anyway we're doing windows. You can see I already got one down here. Basically what I do is measure it figure out how much I need take my little scissors cut it make sure it's straight I'm gonna probably trim it again with the blade but I like to keep it as straight as I can and then you get it peeled off peel about an inch of it off I fold that over so I ain't touching it because you start touching this it just it gets way up gets the glue off all right so then I'll come over here I figure out where I want it I'm gonna trim this off so I, I let it go over a little bit and then you can peel the rest of it off hold this because it will pull it off try not to touch it any more than you have to and don't pull it don't stretch it just Lay it on nice and straight. As 
you can see there's a little turn here, a little bend. This stuff will conform to it and it will bend a little bit without bowing up on you or whatever. And then once you get this up there, then we're going to do the rest of the trimming. The bottom one will be, I'm going to try to make so I don't have to trim. And then this one I'm going to bend around like that. And then I'll round out that corner. So it ain't so bad. All right. Get it started. Pull it off. Let me get up here. Let me get up here. Fold that back so you can work with it. And I'm going to put it right on the edge of this so I don't have to trim anything. Get that first piece on. Hold on to it. Pull the rest off. It's here. I'm going to cut that. Alright, even if you don't press too hard. You just want to take it off. And if you look, it looks all messed up right here. So you take this and you get around it. Make sure you got a sharp blade because otherwise it will pull it back up. off. Ta-da! Once again, grab another piece, figure out how much you want, leave a little extra, then you got something to grab. This stuff's only a few dollars. It's a lot easier than trying to trim this out and then spray it or spray it from the inside or use magic markers or whatever. This I just found this easier. You got to decide what's best for you. Not everybody's going to see this, and they're going to complain or whatever, but hey, if you think this idea sucks, hey, put it in the comments. I don't have a problem. You ain't going to hurt my feelings. Boy, I am having problems getting that done, isn't it? I just don't want to come off. There we go. Pull a little bit back. You know, I touched all that, so I'm going to cut that little part where I got my greasy ass fingers all over it. Nope, that ain't very straight. That's a little better. Make sure you ain't got no lint and crap on there. See if we can get in here. off and just run it right on your edge make sure you follow that curve get it where you want it get up here you don't need much pressure grab it in a little bit then you're going to want to round this mess this up, pull it off and start over. Not a big deal. Like I said, the crap is cheap. And I'm going to take a blow gun, heat gun, wait for it to get hot. I usually spray it on my hand. As soon as this gets my hand toasty, then I know it's full temp. Go over it a couple times, rub it. Bottom. Like I said, if you're not comfortable with the heat gun, use 
the hair dryer. Hair dryer is pretty cheap. You can go buy one. I don't know if you want to take your mom's or your wife's or your girlfriend's. They might get pissed. You know, they're pretty picky about that. But then you got the black around there. It looks pretty good. And then that's what I'm going to do. All right, all done. It took a grand total of maybe 20 minutes, half hour, farting around to finish it up. Uh, it looks good like it is. It's just a couple bucks for the masking, the pinstriping. And the longer it's on there, the better it sticks. And then the heat helps stick it. Just make sure you don't stretch it because then it, it's going to want to come back. It's going to have a memory and it's going to want to so just lay it out the way it wants to go. And uh, round off your corners here so it's not square. And make sure you got a clean blade, brand new blade. You got I use this is like the second, third blade for this. The same thing with me cutting your decals out because Pro Line don't cut them out for you. So you got to do it yourself. So it's worth the investment. I buy them in bulk, 100 at a time. Makes like 15 bucks. Look around on eBay or wherever you get your stuff and uh, just find the cheapest ones. And you get a whole hundred in here for like, I think it's 15 bucks. So that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty good deal, as many as I go through. And if you look over here, there's the orange one I did. Did the same thing on it. Did that all the way around. Didn't do it back here because it's already got the black. And then just the stripe across there. So it all, it all works out pretty good. I like the, the finished look on it. It's quick, it's easy. It's a pain in the butt to cut that out and get it straight and then paint it and then it's, it's a hassle. <laughs> I mean, if you got them skills and talents, hey, go for it. If you got them. <laughs> I don't have them. <laughs> I definitely got the patience for it. All right. So uh, one more thing I wanted to show you before I disappear here. You guys remember this, right? Everybody remembers this. This is the uh, drinking an eBay vehicle. I played with the lights. <laughs> it even has a warning in the instructions about these lights. <laughs> Let me see if I turn the bot. Got three settings low, medium, and your ass is blind. That's the first setting. That's just the these little lights and the brake lights on. That's low for the lights. I don't know if you guys see that. Let me get in there. Let me turn some of these lights out. That's low. Let's jump her up to medium. That's medium. And this is bright. Bam. Those things are bright. So I just wanted you to see them lights because I didn't hook them up and show them in the video. But you can see I stripped everything. Very much left. Put the uh, <coughs> tactical unit rims on it because uh, it looks like it's supposed to have tactical unit rims on it. So I stuck them on there and then pulled everything else out. But anyway, that's it. That's how you do a body. I hope it helps somebody. Uh, like I said, if you mess it up, putting this... Uh, these on just peel them off and put another one on there this stuff's cheap you can do this all day so don't worry about it all right so uh that's the end of part two and uh once again i hope you guys uh can find some of this information useful and once again uh i think we're at 36 subscribers uh I'd like to hit that try to get to 50 before i pass i think i got a couple years left in me so uh let's see if we can hit 50 all right once again thanks